Kenyatta University faculty, today full of joy and excitement, officially launched the 31st edition of the Culture Week festivals at the university's Bishop Square grounds. Students celebrating the diverse cultures in the country and across our borders showcase their talents and are expected to proceed with the exhibitions for the rest of the week. Today's highlight being a comedy night show at KU Amphitheater graced by Crazy Kenan. The long-awaited cultural week is finally here as thousands of students from diverse cultures showed up at the official opening ceremony at the Bishop Square grounds which was presided over by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Research, Outreach and Innovation Professor Caroline Ferua representing the Vice Chancellor Professor Washeke Wanjohi. According to her, KU Culture Week has attracted thousands of performers and audiences not only from within Kenya and Africa but throughout the world from its establishment more than three decades ago. It is from such festivals that the university has been able to identify key talents and nurture them to their full potential. Professor Thorua was delighted that KU has retained the National Music Championships for 15 years consecutively and reminded the students of how cultural values uphold moral uprightness, social responsibility, and empathy towards the needy. Engaging in activities that promote these values will definitely make us responsible citizens capable of sustaining our institutions and nation at large. The Deputy Vice Chancellor for Academics, Professor James B., was excited to celebrate the Cultural Week and reminded the students of how culture enhances quality of life and increases well being for both individuals and communities. We have seen the march that can be achieved, the many talents within our students, and the march that we can be learned in such a function like this one. The chief guest during the opening ceremony was the CEO for Energy Radio, Mr. Kelvin Muley, who advised the students on social media management as it may affect them in the near future. The digital age offers us immense possibilities to connect and connect differently. We have all kinds of social media that we can use, but we must be very careful what we post, how we post, is it authentic? Is it not? I interacted with the Nigerian and Chinese culture and gave us some details from their culture. What you call Lugali is what we call Sualu. So it means you are going to use your hand, you touch the soup, and you, you eat. Then we will have jollof rice. Jollof rice we made with um, a bit of pepper, tomatoes, onions, green peas, and carrots. We use the Chinese brush. Uh, and uh, Chinese ink to write very beautiful and uh, very traditional Chinese characters. Diverse cultural experiences, performances and celebrations making it an enriching and memorable event for all. Emma Mwangi, KUTV.